What's up everybody, it's the RCL man here. Welcome to another quick tutorial video here in Rec Room. Today I'm gonna teach you guys all about roles, how you can add them, how you can delete them, what you can do with them. Specifically, there's a question I get a lot, which is how do you add flying to a co-creator of a room? So by the end of the video, I will answer that question for you specifically. But to get started with roles, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your watch here, go to this room, and settings okay and then here you will find the roles list so hit that this is a list of all the roles that are in the game at the moment by default all rooms will have these first three the eliminated the in game and the dorm room although it normally says everyone it doesn't say dorm room and you can go ahead and edit these roles if you like later we're going to add a new one but right now i'm just going to kind of show you what you can edit in these roles so for the eliminated role Let's see, you're gonna hit that little button and you will get your maker pen out. Now this is kind of give you all of the different options for that role. Uh, we clicked eliminated, so an eliminated person wouldn't be able to move. So can the eliminated person move? No, they can't, that makes sense. Uh, let's see, can they pick up any items? Pick up restrictions, restrict to all, so they cannot pick up any items. Can they fly? No, they can't fly. Um, let's see, you can also change a uh, voice roll off. So if you need, you know, to change how far away people can hear each other for specific roles, you can do that. Uh, locomotion, can they wall run? You know, can they, uh, can, how fast do you want them to walk? Can they sprint? All of these different, different options you can do for, for different roles. So that's basically how you edit the roles and what you can do with the roles there. Um, now what we're gonna do, because specifically we wanna give flying to a certain person, we're gonna make a new role. So to start adding roles, you're gonna need two chips. You're gonna need the role chip and the role mapper chip. So how you get those is go into your maker pen here. You're gonna hit open palette. Go to gadgets, go to game chips, and then it is on the second page, you go roll chip and a roll mapper chip. So at the moment, we're not really gonna use the roll mapper chip, we'll get to that later. Um, we'll just do the, the roll chip at the moment. Okay, so with the roll mapper chip, you can't really do anything with it other than configure it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna hit configure here. All right, and it's gonna give us some options. Now, just like earlier when I was showing you how you could change the eliminated role and the in-game role and all of that, we can edit this role. Now specifically, the question we had earlier was to give the ability to fly to your co-creator. So this role right here, we're just gonna give the ability to fly. So let's turn on flying here. All right, and then once we get done with that, we go back and we need to name the role, so. Let's give it something simple. You know, it's just flying, so let's just make it fly. Super simple, right? Okay, so we are done making our new roll. That was easy, right? Now, we wanna check and make sure. Let's go back to the roles list here. And now you can see we've got the roll of flying is now added to all of the roles. Now, I do not currently have this role assigned to me. If you hit this, it says show only my roles. I do not have that role assigned to me. So the next part is how to get that role assigned to me. Okay, so we've made our new role here. Now we need to start assigning it to people. In this situation, I'm the only one here, so we need to assign the new role to me. Um, what we're gonna do, the easiest way to assign a role is to use a button. There are other ways to do it, and if you have questions, I can answer them in the comments, okay? But the easiest way is with a button. So you just go to props and go to dynamic, and then here we have a button. The button has a special uh, configuration, so if you hit configure on it, it's got a special setting here to output the player number as the signal. The player number is what you need to go into the red pin in order to have it work correctly, basically. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and wire this up here. And what this will do, essentially, when I hit the button, is it will say, uh, whatever player is hitting this button right now, give them this new role. Of course, you have to tell this to do it uh, as well. So let's configure this because you have a couple different options when it comes to the, the role mapper chip. You can add a player role. You can remove a player role. Uh, you can check to see if a player has a role or you can even find out the number of the player who just changed roles. So there's a couple different things that you can use this for. Specifically right now, 
we're just going to add the player or add the role to me. And we have fly already highlighted here. Make sure that this button is pressed. Make sure it's orange. Okay. So let's uh, just make sure that, that it actually happens when I hit the button. We're going to go into, whoops, let's exit out of this. We're going to go into the watch where you can see it's still only showing my roles. Okay. So when I hit this button, it should add the new role to me. And there it goes. It adds the new role to me. And of course, like I said earlier, if you configure it, you can say remove the role. And then if I click it again, it'll remove the role. And that's how you add roles to people. Now, we've basically been able to add a role to somebody. Again, there are other methods to do it. But they're a little bit more complicated. Now, to answer the question at the beginning of the video, how do you add flying to someone who is the co-creator of your room? Well, that's gonna be here in your watch. You're gonna go back to permissions. So it's the same deal, this room, you go to settings and then permissions, and you're gonna go to co-owner. So whoever co-owned it with you, hit the settings here, go to miscellaneous, and then go to auto assigned game roles. Override it and hit edit, okay? Add the role, and you're gonna have to type in the one we wanna add. So for this one specifically, the role we made was fly, to add flying. So we're just gonna hit fly here. All right, done. And now, anytime you have a co-creator, or you add somebody as a co-creator, they will have the ability to fly. So there you go. All right, well, hopefully that helped you guys learn about how roles work and, and what you can do with them. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a good day, everybody. RCL man, out.